Hello everyone, what's up? So today I'm going to be doing an exclusive uh, video featuring two tarantulas. Uh, I did tell you in my Mythbuster video that one of my favorite pokies has molted uh, just recently, I think one or two days ago, and kind of caught me off guard. But I do want to show you this one because this is absolutely my most favorite genus, and I personally think it's probably more beautiful than P. Metallica. So. Um, before that, I think uh, I think his username is uh, Wild Man Gone Wild or Car Man Gone Wild. One two three. Uh, he sent me a PM showing requesting an update on my Phobos Udiman, the Emerald Skeleton, and it's true we haven't really filmed uh, her in a while, let alone do a tour video, which I really should be doing. But. Uh, yeah, I'll make an exclusive video featuring these two teas, and that'll be it. So, I'm going to open up the Deli container with my uh, Esmeralda, which is my Eat Udaman that I got from Tarantula Canada in 2008 when I got Sonic, that mature male P. Metallica. Okay. Oh yeah, she's pretty fast. Okay, so there's really not much update on her since the last video that I've taken her back in April. But as you can see, that's what she looks like now. As you can see, she's starting to turn kind of like a unique color to them. She still has the metallic, well now it's yellow compared to the sling stage. Uh, you can see the colors on the legs are completely different than the juvenile stage. As you can see, these are more of a dark and subdued color to them. So I'll bring in the light so you can actually see a close and personal uh, the colors of the species. Yeah, kind of like a plain Jane one, but the metallic, I would say gold yellow abdomen is really sets this species apart. I call this one the poor man's version of the blue fang because <laughs> it kind of looks like a blue fang at sling stage. Except the only minor difference is that you don't have those blue fangs. Speaking of which, I think Tarantula Canada do have some blue fangs on sale. I'm probably going to pass up on that since uh, it's a pretty difficult species to take care of. But the Udaman, I find it to be a lot more easier too. Alright, perfect. So, she's updated. So, now for the tea that molted. Okay, where is it? There we go. That's my baby. Charmaine, my Pocotheria bara, also known as uh, Pocotheria cephusca lowland. As you can see, uh, freshly molted a couple days ago. Let's get a good look at her. So many people have asked me uh, where you can get these um, gallon jars. So these are rubber made. One gallon jars you can get from Walmart for around, what, three or four bucks. So all you have to do, of course, is to drill holes on the side and some on the cover. So that way you have plenty of ventilation, so, which is good. Okay, so, I'm going to see if I can try to prod her out and see if I can give you a good update on her. Uh, for a Pocotheria, she's actually one of my most mellow Pokies, so I'm not very worried of her compared to, you know, like my Arnada and my Fasciata, which are kind of defensive. And then also there's Pandora and Mia. My Metallica is actually pretty mean. Okay, so... I normally don't like prodding specimens, but... Oh, she's so mellow. Okay. I think I almost got her. Okay, so this is my lowland now. You know, I'm thinking, what, six, six and a half inches? 
picture this way so you can see the colors on the species. These are absolutely gorgeous specimens. There we go. Whoop. Just trying to bring a light closer. There we go. Just prod her a bit. So can she say hi? You can definitely tell that this is a, a very calm pokey. Come on. Here we go. Oop. I did not want that. But anyway. I think these colors speak for itself. You can just see how gorgeous uh, Pocotheria bara is, and you can tell right away why this is my all-time favorite, next to uh, the Safaska lowland, a uh, highland, I mean. Yeah, this is the lowland one. And then here is my Safaska highland to compare. Uh, she's a two and a half inch female. You can see the colors are very similar to the Bara, except I think the only difference is that the Bara is slightly more darker colored than the Highland form. Or I could be wrong, it could be the reverse. But you can see right now my specimen is a lot darker than this one. So Then again this one is a juvenile, so time will tell. That's pretty cool. I'm just so excited that this one molted and <laughs> that's why it's all my all-time favorite. Also, B. Smithy is my all-time favorite New World Terrestrial. So, I do hope you enjoyed the video featuring Esmeralda, my E. Udeman, and Charmaine, my 6.5 inch mature female, Pocotheria Bara, the Ivory Lowland Ornamental. Sweet. Alright guys, so have a nice day.